Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics and today I am back with the new and fresh topic that is the cellular IoT. No Wi-Fi connection, no Wi-Fi module, just a GSM connection that is we will be using a cellular network to communicate with the IoT server. So in this project we will be using SIM 800 or SIM 900 GSM module and we will interface it with the Arduino Uno. We will then connect a DST11 humidity and temperature sensor and using the AT commands we will send the humidity and temperature data to the any API server. For example, in our case we are just sending the humidity and temperature data to Thingspeak server. So you can use any other server or you can use any other web service including Amazon web service or your own server. So without getting delayed, let's get started. Before starting, let us know the difference between cellular data and the Wi-Fi data. But before that, let's see what data is. Now the data is something that you send to the server. For example, you share uh, photos on Facebook, you see YouTube video, you see uh, your mail, you check your mails, you send your mail, you receive your mail, you watch some online videos, you watch uh, music on your iTunes and then you just see the status of the share market. So they all are the data. And you also sometimes do shopping in Amazon and other services. That is also the data. But let's see the cellular network first. Now, cellular network has a wide range and a wide coverage. Means wherever you move, wherever you go, everywhere you can get the cellular network. But the Wi-Fi network has a limited connection. For example, if you are staying at your home or if you are staying at your office, only you get connected to the Wi-Fi network. But if you move outside, you can't get access to the Wi-Fi services. Compared to GSM network, the Wi-Fi network has a very small connectivity and doesn't cover the wide area network. So in that case, Wi-Fi is a failure for the IoT project. So in that case, you can use the GSM module, connect to the internet and the send the data to the server because GSM is available everywhere. Now let's get back to our main topic that is sending the data of DST11 through GSM module to Thingspeak server. So here is the connection diagram using software and serial. We have connected pin number 2 and 3 as TX and RX that is GSM module is a UART module and it should be connected to the UART pin. Okay, So we have DST11 humidity and temperature sensor we have connected its output pin to A0 of Arduino. GSM module requires 12 volt and Arduino requires just 5 volt. So here is a live demonstration how we have connected the GSM module and DST11 to the Arduino Uno. So this is SIM 900A module. This is DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. Okay. So at the back of the GSM module, I have attached, I have connected an Airtel SIM because I am currently in India. So now let us configure the Thingspeak platform for sending the data. So just visit thingspeak.com and create an account if you haven't created an account or simply sign in if you already have an account in my case I have an account so I will just sign in and I will create a channel I have already created a channel if you haven't created you can create easily by clicking on the new channel so here is the channel setting so just create a channel and set up two parameters field 1 as temperature and field 2 as humidity and then save the channel so once saving in done just go on API and then just you need to copy this API key link or simply copy the API key number from right API key. Okay, now let's go to the programming section. So here is a programming that we need to understand. So using software serial we have assigned the TXRX pin. We have also assigned declare a string. We have declared the header file for DST11 and define DST pin as a not. Okay. We have defined uh, humidity and temperature as a float function. Under the setup function, we have initialized the baud rate for the serial monitor and also for the uh, GSM module that is 9600 loop function. Uh, using this uh, formula, we are getting the value of humidity and temperature. So the first command that you can see is the AT command. So this command is used to check the status. Then we have 
AT plus CPIN. It is used to query whether the pin code is expected or not. So we have AT plus CREG. It gives information about the registration status and SS technology of the serving cell. In my case, I have Airtel. So the next one is AT plus CGA double T. So it is used to attach or deattach the device to the packet domain service. Now we have AT plus CIP shut command. This will close the GPRS PDP context. And then we have AT plus CIP status. It will return the current connection status whether the device is connected to internet or not. Then we have AT plus CIP MUX. So it configures the device for a single or multi IP connection. Then we have AT plus CSTT. So AT plus CSTT sets up the APN, username, password, PDP context. And then we have uh, the APN here, you can see. So this APN uh, is different for different cellular network. In my case, I am using Airtel. So the APN is AirtelGPRS.com. In your case, the APN may vary. So just check or contact your operator for the APN. And then we have uh, AT plus CIICR command. So this brings up the GPRS or CSD call depending on the configuration that is set previously. Okay. And then we have AT plus CIFSR. So this retains the local IP address. So using this command we can get the IP address. Now we have AT plus CIP SPRT. This sets whether echo is prompt or not. Then we have AT plus CIP start. So this is used for starting the TCP or UDP connection. In our case we are simply using a TCP connection. Okay. And then the port is assigned and the uh, server is assigned. So we are using api.thingspeak.com as a server. So here is another command that is AT plus CIP send. So this command is used to send the data over TCP or UDP connection. In our case we are sending the data over TCP connection. So using this function uh, we are get sending the data to Thingspeak server with two variables that is string t as a field 1 and string h as a field. Compile the code and upload it to the board itself. Now you can see you can open the serial monitor and you will see the temperature, humidity, data and all the AT command coming into an action. So it will start printing uh, the APN IP address and uh, the API server and it will give the status whether it is connected or not. So it will send the data like you can see the temperature and humidity data is sent. Okay. So just go to a thing speak server and you can see uh, number of uh, temperature and humidity value that has been registered. These are the cycle of LMS 10 entries. So uh, in, after the interval of 2 or 3 minutes you can uh, send the data to the thing speak server. Okay, that is all about the today's IoT project that is the IoT using GSM module. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like this video.